We talked about it coming in, Joe, all the things that they did with Justin Jefferson last week against Green Bay. You can see the different places that he lined up at. He's in the outside position where you would expect him, and then he goes into the backfield. And because of his background as a slot receiver, he's able to do a lot of things from that position. And the Vikings really didn't know when they drafted him just how good he could be from the outside. But tweak. 21 times wide right, 20 times wide left. Then the slot, which is where he predominantly played in college, and one of the knocks against him was could he get off the line of scrimmage at the next level? Maybe that's why. He was 22nd overall pick, but every team that passed on him yeah. would like a do-over. Kevin O'Connell said, I already thought he was one of the top two. So much better than even I thought he was. Third down and five. Cousins backs up, throws. Jefferson broken up. And the play made by Darius Slay. It'll be three and out for the Vikings to start their night. Well, they put Darius Slay over there on Justin Jefferson, and he is matched up one-on-one. -on -one. That's not going to happen a lot in this game. The safety's given a little bit of help, so he could challenge it some. But overall, he had a mano a mano and he came up and made the play. Four-time Pro Bowl corner is Darius Slay. Watching along with the rest of us as the pass is caught by Jefferson, makes the grab, turns and goes, and gets seven offense. Cousins, good pocket, pass caught by Jefferson, who fights for the first down. Got around Hassan Reddick, who was the free agent brought in. One of four, you could call it five big additions to this defense, couldn't make the stop. Well, we, we've seen Hassan Reddick in coverage a couple times and that's second down and 10 good protection end zone pick pass is intercepted by slay a flag is down at the 25 for now it's a takeaway for philadelphia and the indication is it's against minnesota the pick will stand Well, last week, the Lions were four for four in the red zone, scoring touchdowns tonight. The Vikings one for one prior to this. A red zone takeaway. They got Justin Jefferson, and you can see at the top of the route that he runs behind. He goes behind Slay, and you just cannot do that. If Slay comes up behind in front, you see he's able to cut him off. Easy interception, and that's a cardinal rule for a receiver. You just can't do that. Route here, and the only guy who can really cover that is Slay on the outside, and he kind of works inside a little bit. He kind of gets caught in no man's land. You put it on him right now, he's going to get number two tonight. Well, there's no doubt. But a big-time completion, and now Slay almost gets one here as he flashes in front of Jefferson. And Slay came to play tonight. He sure did. I mean, he's reading these routes because he sits on this at the top of it. And Jefferson's not one of those guys you really want to sit on. But you can tell he's just he, he's he's reading exactly where Jefferson is going. And, and there there was another opportunity for him. But yeah, he's playing with a tremendous amount of confidence right now. Got this first down. Blitz. Cousins back pedals and nearly picked by Slay again. Every time Cousins looks up, he's seeing Darius Slay. <laughs> yeah, he is, and, and another well-timed blitz by Jonathan Gannon. You know, again, he, it's not something that he majors in. He picks his spots, and they pick up that first down, and they get to mid. Backpedaling, end zone try, and incomplete. There's Slay again. And Cousins just threw it up for grab as grabs as he was on the run under heavy pressure by Hassan Reddick. Well, they, they come untouched. The, the interesting thing is they got three receivers to the right side where the pressure came from, and none of those three guys looks for the ball when they come off the line of scrimmage. It's all cleared out, and yet nobody's looking. Now, Cousins isn't looking for them either. 
But you can't just randomly throw the ball up in the air. I don't know if Cousins even recognized what was happening to his front side. Now third down and goal. Blitz. Cousins to the end zone and intercepted. What a night for Darius Slay. He's got his second and the Eagles have their third of the night. And Slay has won this battle tonight with Justin Jefferson. Pass was intercepted. And the intercepting player was down by contact in the end zone for a touchback. I'm out on the field. Every time Jonathan Gannon has dialed up the blitz, they have been effective. They've gotten home. Slay, once again, nowhere for Jefferson to impact the play in the red zone. And Slay undercuts it for the touch or the touchback. Yeah, they were trying to sub for Darius Slay. They were coming in to take his place, and he, he waves them off before that last play when he intercepted it and just said, no, I'm staying out here on the field. You know, he wasn't threatened by Jefferson going past him because he's got the end line. And Cousins, it was a great defensive possession there by play caller Jonathan Gannon. Just a couple of weeks ago, he was voted a team captain for the first time in his 10-year career. And he admits he got emotional when talking about why that meant so much to him. He said, I'm not a rah-rah guy. I'm not a guy who's going to jump in the huddle and give a speech. In fact, he said, mostly guys know me for being kind of goofy. So he said the fact that he was voted a captain told him that guys know that even though he likes to joke around, he's serious when it comes to football. He said, I love competing. And being a captain tells me that they respect me for how I lead. Tonight, as he has often found himself across from number 18. This one early. One of 11 passes defensed by the Eagles in this game. There's pick number one. A near second interception. That's the previous play to this. The interception a moment ago and the touchback. Dominant performance by number two. Yeah, they were trying to sub him because it's obvious when you watch him that he, he's banged up. You know, the foot one for five. When Slay's been across from Justin Jefferson, but coming off what he did Jefferson against the Packers week one with the nine catches, nobody had any answer for him with Green Bay. 184 yards, two touchdowns, and different story tonight. Different story, of, uh, yeah, absolutely, and, and he was up for the challenge. As good as Jalen Hurts has been on offense for the Eagles, Darius Slay has been every bit his equal defensively. Well, this was a complete win for Philadelphia. Dominated on both sides of the ball. They dominated a quarterback. And Jalen Hurts looked every bit a top-notch dual threat. And if he continues to play this way, this is going to be a dangerous tough.